Okay, we'll be solving this problem. This is a uh, problem two from uh, the tutorial uh, we have uh, done on in the week of March 30 to April 3rd. So the problem is a generator G is connected to a transformer T1 and the connections for transformer T1 as Y solid ground for primary and uh, secondary is delta connector, which is then connected to a line L1. L1 is then connected to an identical transformer T2. And again, the connections are given for the two sides of the transformer T2. The transformer secondary uh, of T2 is connected to M. G and M are solidly grounded. And uh, it's given that the three phase uh, balanced fault occurs on generator side of transformer. The load current before the fault is one per unit per phase. The voltage at the terminals of M before the fault was one per unit per phase. Then all the reactances are given. So what we have to do is we have to draw the one line diagram to represent the system. Then we have to draw a per phase equivalent positive sequence network only. So B careful here that it's only positive sequence, right? And then we have to draw the Thevenin equivalent and the end we'll be finding the fault current. And it's a three phase balanced fault. Uh, so let's draw the one line diagram first. So first is the generator, so that's your G, and G is connected to transformer T1, let's say this is T1, and then there is line L1, and then transformer T2, and then comes the motor. So generator and motor both are solid grounded Y. So those are the two uh, devices, generator and motor. Then transformer T1, it has a Y it has a Y solid ground on primary side and then delta on secondary side. Transformer T2 here is a also Y solid grounded and delta. Then we have line L1 which is here. Now where the fault is so fault is on generator side of transformer. So this is where the fault lies. Let's mark this point so that is a complete uh, one line diagram. So part one is done. Now we have to draw per phase equivalent positive sequence network. So for that, we need to know the individual networks. For generator, the positive sequence network looks like this. So you have the source and then its positive sequence reactants. So this is EG and this is X positive. J, of course, and that's for a generator, G. Then for transformer, the positive sequence is just a line uh, series impedance or reactance. This is for transformer and again positive, T1. And T2, that's what we can say. The line is also similar to transformer. So this is for L1, J, X positive. So here, all X positives are corresponding uh, reactants. For example, for generator, it's a 0.2 per unit. For transformer T1 and T2, it's a 0.1 per unit. Then the motor is similar to generator. So this is how the motor will be looking like. This is EM. And this is the JX positive for motor. So this is M. All right, so we are clear about all the components and now we are connected together, uh, uh, connected together to complete the whole diagram. So starting from generator, this is plus minus EG. And then the first reactance is for generator, which is J 
0 0.2 per unit. And then the next component is transformer T1. And then the line comes transformer T2. And then the motor comes. And then it's EN for motor. And this is where our ground side is. So let's put all the impedances up. So after generator, it's transformer T1. So this is J0.1. Then comes line L1. So this is J0.3. Then transformer T2, same as T1, so 0 0.1. Then comes the motor, which is J, 0 0.2. So that is the complete uh, positive sequence network. So this is per phase equivalent positive sequence network. Right, so this is part two of uh, this problem, which is part two. So after this, we have to find Thevenin equivalent. So for finding Thevenin equivalent, we have to mark uh, where the fault point lies. So the fault point lies uh, after on the generator side of transformer. So this is where point P is. Right, so we have to find the equivalent uh, impedance and uh, voltage between these points here. So ZT and VT, that's what we have to find. So let's find ZT uh, first and see. Now what we're going to do is, for finding a Thevenin equivalent, we have to assume that, uh, not assume, we have so replace all the voltage sources with a short circuit and redraw the circuit. If we do that, then we don't have any voltage source. So what we have is this. Only the reactances. And the fault point, again, here. So on uh, left hand side of the fault point, we only have J 0 0.2 and on right hand side of the fault point, we have uh, 0 0.1 and then uh, 0 0.3, 0 0.1 again and 0 0.2. So now, these three are in series. So let's redraw the circuit. So we have all these in series represented by 1, which is now 0 0.1 plus 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, and 0 0.7. So this one becomes J point 0 0.7. And on this side, it's only 1. So this is point P again. This is J 0 0.2. Now we have to find ZT between these two points. Now if you look, uh, so between these two points, point 2 and point 7 reactances are not in series, they are in parallel. So the total Thevenin impedance is going to be J 0 0.2 this and start writing down a little bit down. So ZT equals to J 0 0.2 times J 0 0.7 and divided by the sum of those two which is 0 0.9. Right? So this one gives you J 0 
five five. So that's your ZT. Now we are working on a Thevenin's equivalent part three. Now we have to find VT. So let's go back and see where we are finding VT. So the same terminals we are finding the voltage across. So I'm gonna draw um, the small circuit for finding VT again and we'll be using KVL to do it. So for finding VT, let's say these are the terminals we are finding VT, so plus and a minus. And then after that, we have all the reactances done, which is 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.1, 0 0.2 is for the motor. And this is plus minus EM. Now what we are given, we are given that This current is IL, which is one per unit, and this voltage like this is given as VTM, which is also one per unit. Now if we write the equation using KBL, the equation becomes VT minus IL times the whole reactance, which is uh, this one here, 0.1, this one here, 0.3, and this one here, 0.1 again, right? Which makes is a 0.5 J, of course, minus VTM equals to zero. So this is the KBL. So we are using, uh, so substituting this as one and this as one. So we are finding VT, which equals to, so these both uh, go to right hand side, that becomes VTM plus IL times J 0 0.5. Substituting VTM1 and IL1 will give us VT equals to 1 plus J 0 0.5. So if we convert it to polar, that comes to 1.12 angle 26.57 degree in per unit. Now the feminine equ equivalent will be like this. So this is VT equals to 1.12 angle 26.57 per unit. And this is ZT, which was calculated as J 0 0.155. All right, so that's your Thevenin's equivalent, and this is where, again, your fault point is. Now, this was part three. And then we'll be calculating the fault current. So we are calculating the fault current IF here. Now, if we just apply Ohm's law for finding IF, that's going to be VT divided by ZT. So that means IF is given by VT, which was 1.12 angle 26.57 degree divided by J 0 0.155. So this will give you 7.23 and an angle of negative 63.43. Now, although this is the fault current, but its units are per unit because we had all the values in per unit.